All right, so in this video, we're going to continue where we left off in setting up the wall sockets so that way we can access them. So currently, the only th sockets we're iterating through are our foundation sockets array right here. We also want to iterate through the wall sockets. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete our wall sockets, go back to our building.cpp and begin play, and we're just going to add them all into foundation sockets and then rename foundation sockets. So what we can do is foundation sockets dot append and what we want to append is the array of the socket names so hopefully we should have the correct amount so i'm just going to print it out just in case we're just going to print out foundation sockets dot num like that and just to be safe, I'm actually going to go ahead and rename. So we're just going to call this one Mesh Instanced Sockets. And just start replacing anywhere where we have it like that. Go ahead and recompile, and we'll see where we're at. Alrighty, let's hit play and place down a mesh. So we have nine. And that is correct, because we have the eight. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, yep, eight there. Then if I place down a wall, for example, we have the ninth one right up there. So there we have our last position. As you can see, we can place it down, and we have a problem of, well, that right now. So, <laughs> because we're using the same mesh for the ceiling too, we have that as a slight issue. So we have that working. It's picking up all the sockets. However, I don't know if you noticed this, but let me go ahead and place it down. Here we have, at the origin point right there where the blue circle is, we have a just a jump, like it's all the, all the sockets that we couldn't find shoved in there. And that's a problem. So what we want to do before we do any of this is we want to check. So if hit component does socket exist, and we're going to give it socket name. So if it exists... Only then will we go through and make use of said socket. So place it, place on a wall, and as you can see, there is nothing there in that corner. However, we have this guy right here for us. So we can now have a, I even fit in there. And I guess my capsule is a little too big, but I have to change that. But we do fit, kind of, not really. Anyways, so we have that set up. We are able to, I can go ahead and remove that. We are able to actually go through and get our wall socket and attach to it. So now we can uh, do something else. I'm not actually entirely sure what we're going to do next, but anyways, that is going to be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Teen Beth Matt series just for Patreons, as well as you get early access to nearly all of my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.